I'm not here to tell you that turkey tail is the next health trend. And I'm also not here to tell you to take it either. I'm here to examine how this humble orange and brown fungus has traveled all the way from the forest floor to the upper echelon of medicinal mushroom research. So much so that it's been approved in Japan as a legitimate adjunct treatment for cancer since the 1970s, just shy of a decade after fungi were first recognized as their own kingdom of life. And while Japan was ahead of the game, turkey tail didn't gain serious attention in the West until much more recently. And that sudden wave of interest is largely credited to the mycologist Paul Stamets. In 2011, Stamets took the stage at TED Med and spoke about how turkey tail helped his mother during her battle with cancer. Essentially, his mother had been diagnosed with stage four breast cancer at the age of 83, with the disease spreading to her liver and sternum. Doctors had told her she was too old for surgery and gave her only months to live. As a last hope, her oncologist recommended she join an experimental turkey tail mushroom clinical trial. She took four turkey tail capsules every morning and four more every evening alongside her standard chemo drug regimen. After about six months, her tumors disappeared and she went into complete remission. And years later, she continued to be cancer free. While Paul Stamets himself never claimed turkey tail was a magic cure in its own, he strongly believed it helped her body overcome the cancer. Whether or not you believe that conclusion, the correlation between turkey tail supplementation and positive treatment outcome, in her case, is hard to ignore. And the real intrigue lies not just in the mushroom's form, but in its complex biological mechanisms. Much of the research surrounding turkey tail focuses on a protein-bound polysaccharide extracted from turkey tail called PSK or polysaccharide K. Doctors in Japan routinely prescribe PSK along chemotherapy or radiation for cancers like stomach, colorectal, esophageal, and lung cancer. And research there has shown positive outcomes. For example, randomized clinical trials in the late 1970s and 80s found that adding PSK to standard chemo after surgery improved survival in stomach cancer patients. And more recently, in 2023, a scientific review noted that PSK helped reduce side effects of oral chemotherapy in colorectal cancer patients, improving their quality of life compared to chemo alone. And a comprehensive meta-analysis of multiple clinical trials concluded that patients across various cancers who took turkey tail extract, like PSK, had a significant survival advantage over those who received standard therapy alone. In one analysis of 13 trials, the five-year mortality rate was about 9% lower in the group using turkey tail alongside conventional treatment. Compounds from turkey tail increase the activity of natural killer cells, known as T-cells, and other immune system defenders. This has been demonstrated in both lab experiments and in some human studies. This immune boost is likely why it's helpful as an add-on therapy for cancer patients, aiding the body's innate ability to fight disease. There's also research mostly in animals or lab settings hinting at direct anti-tumor effects. For example, a protein-bound sugar from turkey tail called CBG, different from the CBG used in mushroom cultivation, of course, suppressed tumor growth in mice. And PSK was shown to directly inhibit the spread of colon cancer cells in test tubes. While those are early stage results, they lend biological plausibility to the anti-cancer claims. To temper the excitement, Mainstream experts point out that turkey tail is not a proven cure for cancer. Organizations like Cancer Research UK and the American Cancer Society emphasize that, yes, mushrooms have promise, but they should complement standard treatments, not replace them. As of now, no regulatory authority in North America or Europe has approved turkey tail as an official cancer medicine. That said, the fact that Japan's medical system embraces it, and has done so for decades, suggests there's real merit to explore. Given all this history and research, how is turkey tail viewed by the medical establishment today? The answer varies by region. In East Asia, it's fairly mainstream to include turkey tail extracts in oncology care. Major cancer hospitals in Japan and China administer PSK or similar mushroom extracts to patients routinely. These are doctor-prescribed, insurance-covered parts of treatment there. 
The National Cancer Institute's own cancer information summary acknowledges that medicinal mushrooms have been approved as an addition to standard cancer treatments in Japan and China for more than 30 years, including turkey tail. However, in places like the United States, Canada, and much of Europe, turkey tail is still considered alternative or complementary medicine, not part of a standard care. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has not approved turkey tail or PSK as a drug to treat cancer or any other diseases. This isn't because of known dangers. Remember, studies show it's quite safe, but largely because we lack large-scale Western trials to satisfy regulatory requirements. Another factor is the business side. Turkey tail is a natural fungus that can't be patented in its whole form. Pharmaceutical companies typically invest in expensive clinical trials only if there is a proprietary drug at the end of the tunnel. With mushrooms, the profit motive is lower, so funding for big trials often has to come from government grants or philanthropy. The Bastard Trials, for example, were funded by the National Institutes of Health with a $5.4 million grant a sign that public institutions see enough potential to investigate, but private industry isn't leading the charge. Because of this gap in research investment, we're left in a bit of a gray zone. On one hand, we have promising data, long-standing historical use, and lots of positive anecdotal experiences. Paul Stamets' mother is just one. Many patients have tried turkey tail and reported benefits. On the other hand, we don't yet have the kind of large double-blind phase 3 clinical trials that could definitely prove efficacy to the satisfaction of agencies like the FDA. As a result, no doctor in the US or UK will prescribe turkey tail as a cancer treatment, but some integrative oncologists might recommend it as a supplement alongside standard care. The skepticism comes mainly from the fact that cancer is serious business, and the bar for proof is high. As Cancer Research UK summarizes, there is currently not enough evidence to say that any type of mushroom can prevent or cure cancer. They acknowledge early research is intriguing, especially regarding immune system effects, but rightly point out that mushrooms are not a standalone cure. If future trials show clear benefits, turkey tail could become a standard adjunct treatment worldwide one day. Until then, it lives in that space of being approved in the East, intriguing in the West. In the end, the tail of the turkey tail mushroom is a fascinating example of old meets new, an ancient remedy coming into the folds of modern science. For now, turkey tail stands as a beacon of integrative medicine, reminding us that the natural world has provided some powerful tools for health. And with rigorous study, those tools can find a place in our contemporary healing practices. If you want to try your own, we sell potent turkey tail extracts on our website that I'll link to below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. It costs you nothing and helps improve our visibility in the YouTube algorithm. Also, drop a comment if there are any topics you'd like for us to cover next. See you next time.